Hi guys, welcome to the channel. And in this video, let's review Greyhound, the movie starring Tom Hanks, and which aired on Apple TV yesterday. Now, the movie is a 90-minute-long movie about uh, the what the about the World War Two, how a bunch of Allied ships had to go from United States to the UK, and how they were encountered uh, by German or the Nazi U-boats or submarines in the Atlantic. Now, back in the 1940s, uh, at the peak of the World War, uh, Winston Churchill said that perhaps the only threat that he faced really, and something that he was very apprehensive of, was the German U-boats because how stealthy they were and how dangerous they were. Tom Hanks plays the role of a first-time naval captain, uh, and his character is Ernest Krause, and he's leading a convoy of about 40 odd ships through the Atlantic. And there's this area in Atlantic called the Black Pit, which is swarming with German and Nazi U-boats who are hell bent on sinking all these ships. The ships are carrying essential troops, equipments that can help uh, the Allied forces to, uh, you know, uh, to uh, to defeat the Nazis in the war. Now, uh, the only the only crucial character in the movie who uh, takes a lot of the screen time is Tom Hanks, and the other characters pop in and out. Now, the movie is not of the same caliber as a 1917 or a uh, Dunkirk. The Entire movie is technically naval tactics babble. Uh, throughout the movie, the pattern is pretty similar of uh, ships trying to encounter uh, the threat from German U-boats because the U-boats are underneath the ocean and they pop in once in a while when they have to recharge their batteries or take in some oxygen and the periscope uh, can be seen. So it's an entirely, uh, the movie uh, has dialogues that entirely naval speak. I mean, it's, it's this very technical in nature, naval warfare of bearings, degrees, torpedoes, uh, things about the ship. So there's a little less of the human dialogue in the movie, which is what I felt was one of the weak points. Uh, the cinematography is fantastic. The direction is fantastic. Uh, there are a couple of shots uh, when they have an aerial footage that showcases the contours and how complex it is to fight battles in the middle of an ocean uh, when you don't have air support because back then uh, back then uh, aircrafts couldn't fly for that long because they had to refuel and the ships were left on their own to uh, to uh, encounter the German threats. Now the movie, uh, one of the areas where the movie fails completely is to showcase the devastation and the consequences of a war. There's only one scene where uh, three of their uh, crewmates have passed away and they have to dump their bodies into the ocean. That's perhaps the only scene. We, uh, the deaths, the number of people who suffered, uh, you know, because the German U-boats were attacking all the other ships in the convoy, they're just mentioned and they just briefly talked about it, but as such, they haven't uh, shown them in the movie. Uh, now, one of the areas where I felt um, uh, that the movie did really, really well is uh, you know, it has an element of suspense. It has the it has the ability to reel you in to keep you on the edge of your scene, but that's far and few in between. There are there's this constant tension, but as an audience, we're unable to relate to it. As an audience, we're unable to uh, you know understand the gravity of the situation. So I felt that you know that writing could have been tighter. That 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 aspect of storytelling could have been tighter. And the movie is 90 minutes long, so there is not much that you can do in terms of character development. Uh, Tom Hanks plays a commendable role given the fact that he's written the screenplay. Uh, you know, he tries to do justice to his script. Uh, the score is very, very haunting, uh, but at the point of time, it becomes very repetitive and fails to do anything to you as an audience. Uh, one of the striking imagery in the movie is the German U boats, which are called wolf packs because they hunt in, uh, they have the wolf imagery painted on the submarines. It's like a bunch of wolf hunting a bunch of prey. Uh, which is the German and the Americans and the British. Uh, uh, so that's the haunting imagery uh, in the movie, but the Nazis are never shown on screen. You only hear the voices, you see the submarines. Uh, I mean, you see the silhouettes from far off, but as such, you don't see them on screen. And that's where I felt uh, the threat was, uh, the, the, the perceived threat was, well, it did not feel that impactful. I want to see some Nazis and how they look. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, the movie did have a lot of potential but ultimately it's just going to be that one time or two time watch movie that a lot of people will opt for because it does not have the same element of tension that that same element to keep on the edge of your seat like a 1970 or a Dunkirk. 
um then the movie has a bunch of different characters uh who are working in the ship but most of them you know come and pass by without uh, leaving any mark on you as an audience now the very fact that the movie was released on apple tv makes it very restricted to how many people can watch the movie so if you have an apple device and if you have apple tv on it i would recommend that you go check it out and if you have interestingly purchased an apple device recently you would get the movie you would get apple tv subscription free of cost for a year so that's good news uh uh now uh, it is it was great to see tom hanks in this role uh, i felt tom hanks as a character he could have done much more uh, given what a fantastic actor he is uh and uh, but yeah but but i felt his his role was a bit subdued his his role was not as impactful as it could have been but nonetheless it's a very enjoyable movie uh it's a short quick movie so for history buff like me or if you enjoy reading about and you want to know more about world war 2 i would highly recommend that you go watch it a quick historical fact about german uh, u-boats like i mentioned winston churchill considered them to be a big threats and they continue to sink ships unless the americans and the british found a way around it uh now that's it that's mostly the movie it was a fun enjoyable movie but not something that i would like to watch again and again uh, maybe sporadically once in a while so it's 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 definitely i would call it like a binge watchable movie like you can finish the movie at one go it's short crisp uh, to the point just that the language in the movie the dialogue is so technical that you know you fail to connect to the characters and audience because i mean most of us won't even understand what these terms in a naval warfare even mean so yeah that's my only gripe with the movie i hope you like this review and if you like the content that i put out please like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video